everybody. Now, since I started cycling about three years ago, I started really getting into it seriously. I have met so many amazing people and everybody who cycles has a story and they have amazing stories. They're inspiring. Now you'll watch some of my videos and I've got that guy Tony in. You know that guy Tony and you're like, who's Tony? Why is he in all these videos? He has an amazing story and I've asked him to share it with you guys because you're gonna be inspired. I've got Tony here with me now. Tony, say hi. Good day everybody, <laughs> how are you? Now you started cycling about two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago when COVID uh, hit. I was walking before then and I decided I wanted to go a little bit further so. Yeah, you thought I started cycling. Jump on the bike. Jump on the bike. But you didn't always look like this fit and healthy no. and strong. No. No. So I was uh, in the military and uh, I got injured and neck and shoulder and a um, little bit of a brain tumor. And they put me on pretty strong medication. So I was on uh, morphine. Um, you just naturally put weight on because you, you become inactive. Um, sleepy, dopey. I sort of didn't move much, I didn't walk much, I didn't do anything. And then uh, one day I had an, an injury, I fell over and I busted my elbow. So yeah, so how long ago did that happen? It was uh, in 2005. Yep. Um, yep. I had the, the, fall, the fall over and um, I wasn't healing properly after that. Um, with the, I had an abscess from my bum which took about 18 operations in two years so I was pretty crook for a couple of years and I wasn't walking far, I wasn't doing anything and uh, so I actually weaned myself slowly over about three or four years off of the morphine and I started walking. Now when I first started walking it was probably 100 metres a day, it wasn't really far at all. I was 117 kilos at the time. Yeah wow, So. okay. Yeah, as you'll see from the photos later. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look like big, you. Yeah. It doesn't look like you. <laughs> it didn't, well, it doesn't feel like me. I, when I look back, it doesn't look like me. I surprise myself when I look back. It's like, wow, how yeah. did you ever get there? Yeah. But, you know, I don't have a lot of memories from those periods. That okay, I just yeah. sort of short-term memory was sort of almost gone because yeah, okay. of the, the medication. You sort of one day bleed into the next. And, yeah. yeah. So anyway, after um, five or six years of... Um, getting myself off of that medication i started to walk a little bit further and we started hiking fiona and i started hiking a yep. lot um and you know we'd do three four k's and it took a long long time but it was just one of those things every day you'd go a little bit further and we we're living at Moonta at the time and we used to walk around Moonta. yeah and i think most people knew us from walking around Moonta. they'd all see us and wave and <laughs> so um and then slowly but surely got into the cycling mm -hmm. um, in uh, well COVID hit we were traveling a bit a little bit more before then COVID hit so we couldn't do anything so I, I just wanted to go a little bit further so I thought we'll start cycling and the first day I got out on the bike I think I went about four k's yep. and <laughs> it must have taken me an hour <laughs> and yeah, yeah basically and, and got back and my legs felt like logs and I could hardly move yeah <laughs> so it's one of those things is where you get to that point where you, you, the first ride you do, do you get back on the bike and try it again in a couple of days because your legs are tired and yeah. sore. And so I decided, yeah, I'd, I'd keep doing it. And yeah, slowly but surely worked up to where I am now, where we just did that 220k ride the other day. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so, and, and probably could have gone further. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's like to get to that point. So you, you got really sick and that would have been a big blow to you, right? Like you go, yeah. what's what's happened to my healthy. life you're yeah, fit healthy strong yeah. Yeah. you're working you've got a career your yep. life's going along then boom something comes out of left field and yeah. you're very sick yeah yeah for a long time yeah I and mean, it's just you just i don't know whether i i gave up I, I probably shouldn't have listened to the doctors as much to be quite honest because they had me on all this medication and then they'd give me another medication for that medication because of the complications it was causing and um so yeah now i'm on no medication whatsoever i don't take anything yeah so you um, i still get the pain and I, I see like today i've been over in physio yeah. um i still get the pain in my shoulders and stuff and i just treat it in other ways now yeah and how did you get to that point of like to wean yourself off medication that's huge like well, i wasn't healing that, that, that period i was having all those operations um because of the abscess in my rear end i just wasn't healing so your body says right that's you know there's got to be a point where it's too much yeah. and it just nothing was working properly so i thought the only way to stop this is to stop putting the poisons in my body and start listening to it 
Yeah. Instead of and not listening to the doctors yeah. quite as much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a big thing to do though. Be, was oh, it a scary it was, thing it was, to do? Well, so I didn't have many options yeah. to be quite honest. Just like right, what else can I try? Yeah. yeah. And and then to go because by then you were very overweight. Yep. And so and to motivate yourself and to inspire yourself to get out and walk and every day. Talk me through that. How did? It's just everybody's journey's different, I guess. But for me, it was just I had to keep going, and I couldn't. And once I'd got myself off of that medication, I was thinking more clearly, and I could continue on. Um, and I just pushed myself to go out every day. <laughs> <laughs> I like to uh, try and do always try and do my best at anything I do. Yeah. And I probably just yeah, a little bit compulsive. <laughs> compulsive. I wouldn't have thought that's an interesting word to use. Yeah. yeah. Compulsive is just as in you get a fixation on something and like I'm gonna just continue on and continue yeah. on and I'm gonna make sure I get as good as I can get. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, so, and just not give up. And not give up. And that's that's the thing is don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up on yourself. Yeah. yeah. And I suppose that's one of the reasons why I thought it'd be amazing to share your story with people because I, I get a lot of messages from people um, saying, oh, I want to do better, I want to try harder, or I'm overweight, or it's, it's just hard, or I just, it's just, it's just hard. And I just say, just, you've got to yeah. just keep going. And it's, I think it's you know, possible you're... for anybody to do if they just keep going. and. You do what you can do. I mean, I've, I ride up the hills with you guys. I'm never going to be as fast as you guys. I don't want to be as fast as you guys. I just want to get to the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's sort of, as long as I'm getting to the top, I'm happy. Yeah, and I'll never be as fast as you yeah. downhill, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Is that the compulsiveness? <laughs> no, 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 that's just crazy. That's just crazy. <laughs> don't give up on yourself. Just find a reason. Um, and everybody's reasons is individual and what they want to do is individual to themselves but find a reason and find some sort of motivation um, whether it's somebody like myself would give you the motivation I'm quite happy to always help but just it's really just find something which motivates you and, and a reason you know you might be for your kids it might be for um, mm -hmm. your own health it just it, it, and everybody's individual but yeah you really need to find that and find it within yourself and, and just don't give up yeah, well, you're a perfect example of that. Yeah. Look at the journey that you've been on. And well, how it's many, been a long one. I was going to say, how many years total from, uh, to, from to today? From injury back in 1996. Yeah. So, um, yeah. from an initial injury. Um, and so it's been that long, and it's taken me that long to get where I am, and I've been on a, a pretty wild journey in between. And, yeah. 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 And if I counted up the surgeries and showed you my x-ray pile, which would be about that high, um, I'd probably have about 40 or 50 surgeries in that period. So, oh. yeah. yeah. And I think that's a, a, a really key point is to, nev to not give up. To like, not give up, people yeah. Yeah. And you can still cycle with injuries. I mean, some people can't because there might be their knees or their hips which have, which have given them the injury. But for me, I was lucky it was only my shoulder and I can sort of, um, and neck, I can sort of work around that. I put things like mirrors on the bike so that I don't have to turn my head and You'll, you'll notice when I go like that, it's like I turn yeah. the whole body, I don't turn my neck very yeah. often, it's, it doesn't work. Yeah, so you found ways around it. It's <laughs> so like, you just find ways around it, yeah. 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 And did you change your diet at all? So did you... Yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot? A lot, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, portion size is the biggest thing. But, you know, we, we don't do the takeaways and the Hungry Jacks and the KFCs. And, um, iced coffee was my biggest killer. Farmers Union iced coffee, sorry Farmers Union. <laughs> <laughs> but it put that much weight on it wasn't funny. Oh really? Yeah, don't touch the stuff. How many did you have of those a day? Or probably uh, every, every couple of days a two litre bottle. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing and your journey has been incredible and I think um, yeah like uh, so many people out there who go through, I said this at the start, who are going through so many struggles in life whether it's your health, whether it's emotional, whether it's you know, mental, physical, whatever it is, um, you just don't give up. Don't give up. Just get out there and do whatever it takes every single day. Just, just set yourself a goal and don't give up. Like Tony yeah. said, yeah, yeah, do it because it's not the only way and you're worth it. <laughs> and then you can come riding with us. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next video. <laughs> and the best piece of advice I could give you is don't give up on yourself. You're worth every minute of the effort. So you put the effort in, you'll get the results. And it won't happen overnight? It certainly won't happen overnight, but it will happen if you don't give in. Yeah, yeah. So. I never give in, never give in.